Well, I'm happy to welcome here at the big table Deidre Berger. She's director of the American Jewish Committee here in Berlin. Deidre, it's good to see you. Uh, what about the fact that the, the conflict with the Palestinians, that, did, that got a lot of short shrift today. Uh, was that a good thing? It was definitely a good thing. One could say it got too much attention in previous consultations. When we look at what's going on in the Middle East, there are countries unraveling faster, we just saw before Syria, mm -hmm. faster than we can even discuss it. Israel is attacked from all sides. Israel is playing a tremendous role in terms of security, also in very close touch with its Western allies. Mm -hmm. And this is the moment to discuss terrorism and security, and that's what they did. What, what struck us was watching what uh, the, the Prime Minister, Netanyahu, what he said um, about what Israel is. It, it almost came across as if he were trying to sell to the world that Israel is just like the West. It is the West. Um, why? Why would he have to sell Israel? I don't think that from the perspective of Europe or the United States, that there's really been always sufficient understanding of the role Israel indeed is playing as the only true democracy in the Middle East. When there's complaints about Israel's press or this or that, as the prime minister quite aptly noted today, mm -hmm. there's such a robust press there is. Um, that he would like to see even a fraction of its likes in the neighboring states. Israel is aligned to Western values. It's part of the Western alliance. Of course, it has different needs and security interests, but we should remember, Israel is today, in many ways, the full de gap of the Western world. Do you think that Netanyahu feels somewhat handicapped when he comes to, to Europe, to Berlin now, in the post-Iran nuclear deal time? He was against it. He is still against that deal. Well, there's other ways to benefit in that sense from that deal. And he spoke about the importance now of the U.S. giving to Israel arms so that it can cope with potential threats from Iran. Nonetheless, that deal was in many ways a game changer. It certainly has enabled Iran to beef up its terrorist activities mm -hmm. in the region. Israel feels the threat, but now we all do. Let me ask you, you know, while we've got you here, um, Saudi Arabia yeah. and Iran, coming into this very complicated equation with Syria right now. I mean, you've got Israel looking at two major enemies now who may actually face off with each other in Syria. What can Israel do with that type of threat? The two countries are not an equal threat to mm. Israel. As we know, there's long been a lot of cooperation with Saudi Arabia. Of course, there are a lot of problems with the country, but Saudi Arabia has tried in many ways to reach out with its peace initiative long ago. Mm -hmm. I think that there's a lot that can be discussed with the um, Saudis. Also, ever closer relations between Israel and Egypt, Israel and Jordan. There's new alliances emerging in the Mideast that are necessary to hold off the terror. We haven't won the war against terror in the Mideast yet, and without Israel, it's impossible to win. All right. Deidre Berger with the American Jewish Committee here in Berlin. Thank you very much. It's always good to see you, too. Thank Great. you, Deidre. Good to see you, Frank.